All right, guys, so I'm back here to demonstrate to you how to set up a form within a pop-up form. Now, the method in which you set up a form is exactly the same whether it's a pop-up or it's not a pop-up. But in this case, I'll be showing you in a pop-up because in this particular funnel, we've built a pop-up. So in this button here, it's been configured to link to a pop-up. And so on that note, we're going to go to the left and go to pop-up. Now, if you don't have a pop-up form, you obviously need to add one and call it pop-up to or pop-up whatever. So I already have one, so we're not gonna um, create one. So I'll clean it up. I'm gonna go edit. And you can see here I've already got one. So what I'm gonna do um, is, um, is to actually, instead of doing that, how about I start from scratch and I'm gonna delete this, okay? So I'm going to create a pop-up that will be the same as you and I'm going to call it pop-up form, okay? Standard, yep. It will appear on the webinar template, yep. Okay, and then I might drag this in here, okay? Now this is actually an empty form, so what I'm going to do is I am, I don't want this. So what I'm going to do is, oops, what just happened there? I'm going to delete this. I am just going to go, I might keep this and just go, oops, what just happened there? like that I don't want this whole form I'm going to delete it because it doesn't work so I'm going to rebuild it and it's going to go into this thing called form I'm going to drag it under think of this as a white piece of paper and in that white piece of paper I want to collect the name and email and I want to drag this input field here and notice that it's green so that's what you want to do if you if they've got a green border like this it means you're dragging it to the right form I need a submit button. Again, try and put it right next to the form like this. Okay. I'm going to clean it up, make it look nicer. I'm going to put a divider in between like so. Then I am going to do that. Okay. I'm going to change the color and make it blue, light blue, background again, light blue. Okay. I would do the color first so that it doesn't um, get in the way when you're doing integration. Uh, text, bold. Go back into, now we're going to, once you're happy with the, the look and feel, we're going to configure, okay, F name. Why F name? Because that is what MailChimp reads name as. And if I take you to MailChimp, you'll find, if you go to settings and you go to this audience fields and merge, you see that they recognize first name as F name. And that's why you need F name right here. Or for last name is L name, right? So that's why it's F name. Now this is only for MailChimp, okay? Only for MailChimp that you need to do this. Email, let's just lowercase email, uppercase because I want the one people to see email like that. Now, bit of a bug, sometimes it doesn't save. So you need to keep doing it until it sticks. Go back into name. Keep doing it. We'll stick. Go back to name. There it goes. It's fine now. It's here. And then the submit button, we're going to go register now. Okay. Then we're going to go save and exit. I'm going to save the form. We are going to. What's happening here? Content saved. And then what we're going to do is we're going to publish. 
okay and then we are going to just check the form again I'm gonna pop up to take time to update anyway okay so we should expect to see a blue form when it updates right so what I'm gonna do is cancel go right here ah one last thing guys got so excited uh, so now we linked all the form that's nice looking what you need to do is to link it up integration so go back into integration we're going to link it up to MailChimp uh, healing with Meredith and the page the thank you link is to once people are giving you the name address you want them to go to the thank you page which is page two we're going to update we're going to save and exit okay now save and then what we're going to do then is published content save publish I'll wait for it to say okay so once it's being published i'm going to go back and check on the pop-up form again to see what it looks like okay so the pop-up form looks like that and we've just integrated it so what we're going to do now we are going to go back into the form so that's where the form is being built i'm going to go into here register you should be a blue form okay why is it not showing a blue form let's just go back into group funnels go to pop up go to edit um it should be blue okay let's just press publish again just to make sure let's just refresh let's take some time to update okay all right All right, guys, so um, I've given it some time to refresh. And right now it's refreshed before you would have seen a white form, right? So now I'm, I'm clicking it and it's not working. So the, the site has actually refreshed, okay? Because previously you were actually seeing a form with uh, white fields in it, but right now it's not even registering. Now, the reason for that is Remember how in the beginning I actually deleted a form and by deleting it, the form is actually then um, deleted the form that I had on my drop down in this register here. So if you click on, I've come back into here, I've clicked on this button, I've checked on the configure of this, it says register here, link to a pop-up form. But what happened was this was actually, it had nothing, it was nil because I deleted the earlier pop-up form and then I built a new pop-up form with you guys. And so right now I've put it back and this should work now. Okay, I'm gonna update. Okay, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna publish and you should now see a blue form. Okay, so look, I'm glad I made all these mistakes with you in front of you because in that way, next time you know how to troubleshoot. Okay, uh, okay, now let's just refresh. And let's just click here. Still not updating. Get one more go. Refresh. There we are. This is the blue form. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go with Davina Blue, Davina Blue Test, gmail.com. Register now. Okay. So what we're going to do, so this is a thank you page. I've told Groove to go to this thank you page once they've given me their details. I'm going to go into MailChimp, I'm going to refresh, go to all contacts, and there we are, Davina Blue Tests and Davina Blue all right here. All right, okay, so that's it, guys. So in terms of this funnel, um, if it's not working, a few things is come back and check that this says pop-up form. Uh, in the beginning, this was fine. That was because I had a pop-up form in there, but because I went into this pop-up, I deleted my earlier form and created a brand new one with you guys. It's then deleted it off my original settings that was here in the beginning that I have to go back and fix it. So that's it, guys. Hope that helps and talk to you later.